Hi kids. Today we're going to learn about the story of Joseph and how even in hard times, God is always with us. Joseph had 11 brothers and was one of the youngest in his family. He was one of his dad, Jacob's, favorites, which made his older brothers very angry. Joseph's brothers also didn't like him because God would talk to him in his dreams, and they always made fun of him for that. When Joseph turned 17, his dad gave him a beautiful, colorful coat that he loved, and because Joseph got a special present, his brothers became very jealous. They were so jealous and mad that they wanted to kill Joseph. Joseph and his brothers were out in the fields one day, and his brothers put together a plan to throw Joseph into a pit and leave him there to be eaten by wild animals. After they threw him into the pit, a group of travelers passed by going to Egypt, and Joseph's brothers got the idea to sell him as a slave so they could make some money. They took Joseph's beautiful coat and sold him to travelers without feeling bad at all. They ran back to their father with Joseph's coat and told him all about how some animal had eaten Joseph, which made their father very sad. Over the years in Egypt, Joseph was kept in a jail cell because he continued to have dreams and visions from God. Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, had a strange dream one night and was asking everyone if they understood what it meant. He ended, up getting to jo he ended up getting Joseph out of jail to help figure out what his dream meant. Joseph told the Pharaoh that his dream meant for seven years Egypt would have all the food they needed, and then for seven years there would be a drought and food would be hard to find. Joseph told the Pharaoh to start saving food for that period where there would be no food so his people would survive. The Pharaoh was so happy with Joseph that he appointed him to be his second in command. Joseph became very important in Egypt, and his family had no idea he was even still alive. Many, many years later, Joseph was reunited with his brothers and father. And Joseph was able to protect them and help them survive the famine. We can learn many things from the story of Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat. One of the most important things we can learn from this story is that no matter what happens, God is with us and he will turn bad into good. Joseph's brother sold him to get rid of him and God eventually made him the second most important person in Egypt. Even when we go through hard times, God is with us and will always guide us. If you are ever in a tough time or feeling sad, know that God is always with you and can turn a bad situation into something good. Let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for always loving us and being with us. Help us to remember that no matter what happens, you are always with us and you always love us. May we always remember that even when we go through bad times, you can turn them into something good. In your name we pray, amen.